after a heartbreaking end to last year's season due to COVID-19. The Liberty men's and women's disc golf team are excited to be back in action this fall and looking to make up for the lost season. It's been really nice being able to practice again. You know, we didn't know what was going to happen with COVID, like not being able to go to nationals last year. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice practicing and it just gives us a great opportunity to work on those skills that a lot of us either have worked on over quarantine or just kind of forgot about disc golf and did other things. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice just to be back together to work on things together and fix anything that we might have lost over the break. We've got a strong group of returners that are coming back who really used quarantine and off season to, to work on our games. Uh, with that, we've got a lot of new guys coming in, lots of talent. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to see where we, where we go this season and, and kind of when competitions start in the spring, just to see how we come together as a team to compete. I, I can't be happier. We have a, an amazingly large team this year because of COVID and uh, everybody decided to go play disc golf, I think in March uh, last spring and, and just got better and better and played more and more. And, so we had our largest turnout for tryouts ever. And so that was amazing and, and hard as coaching. We actually kind of had to come up with a new program to be able to keep more student athletes and kind of develop uh, them into the players that we would like to be. So it's good because they're new. They don't have a lot of bad habits, but uh, it's nice to see the new guys kind of jump in and help teach. But I think always anytime that you're able to teach something, you learn as well. So it kind of betters your skill in that process. So it's working out well with the lighter fall that we have this year with everything kind of being postponed till the spring. The Flames will have to wait to make up for last year's cut short season as they will not compete until the spring. In the meantime, the Flames are refining their skills so they are ready to pick up even better than where they left off last spring when their season starts next semester. So obviously it's a little weird since we're used to having a few tournaments this semester, um, but this just gives us ample amount of time to get those skills um, perfected so that we're ready to travel all of next semester because our next semester is obviously going to be it's just going to be a lot of traveling time and a lot less time being able to practice and work on those skills so I think this is just a great time to perfect the things that we need to perfect. This is a unique fall I think with the uh, our own qualifier that we host here on campus being delayed to the spring and not even sure what that's going to fully look like um, that's usually what we're gearing up for and it's good to kind of have the first month for the, the student athletes to get acclimated to school and practices and everything else and all that Liberty has to offer and then be rolling into a tournament. We don't have that this year but the nice thing is the local scene of tournaments has been kind of growing and building and so there's been a lot for them to go to and kind of like our brawl series that we do in the winter we've been doing some of that here in the fall and getting them a lot of experience in tournament even though it's not collegiate tournament it's still tournament experiences which is hugely helpful and really kind of creates that atmosphere for them to understand the pressures, the importance of bad shots, good shots, how to play through that mental aspect of it all. The Flames have had the ability to add depth to their team, creating now one of the program's largest and deepest rosters in recent years, all while continuing to build on the team's national pedigree as one of the top collegiate disc golf programs in the country. It's been great seeing a lot of new players out on the, out on the course, out at, out at practice. Um, so it's been, it's been interesting dealing with all the new faces and trying to learn names and, and really gel. But uh, we've got a lot of great personalities, a lot, of, a lot of really good players who are coming together and I think we're really starting to bond as a team. I think what, what attracted more guys to the team and more girls to the team is because of how well we played at Nationals a couple of years ago. And especially over, like I said, the time of quarantine when people had time to form new hobbies, I think a lot of people went to disc golf to you know, take up that time. And um, there are a lot of new people who are still working on getting their throws down and stuff, um, but it's really cool that we have all the veterans to help them instead of just our coach. Um, and then on the girls' side, we have one new girl who will be playing all of this year, and she's already doing a great job. And we're all able to work together and help each other, and it's just been really awesome. Even though the Flames will have a longer winter break than normal, with the team's added depth and an experienced roster, the Flames feel determined that this upcoming season will be one of the strongest the program has ever had. Our focus as a team has always been on nationals and competing well and, and trying to win a national championship. So that vision hasn't changed. Um, obviously with not competing in the fall, this, the scheduling has been different, but, but practices haven't changed. We're still focused on getting better each and every week. Um, a lot of us are traveling, playing local events, events out of state, just doing everything we can to be ready when that time finally comes. As a coach, that's powerful to see guys you know, motivated and encouraged to be wanting to play and get better and, and build each other up. I'm not super worried that we're going to have a longer gap 
everybody's going to have that same gap. I think we'll be stronger on the back side of it. Uh, and then it's just a matter of that travel and, and the limitations of what we can get to and how we can travel through the, through the spring are going to be interesting to see how things shape out you know, after the new year. So we're, you know, we're looking for different opportunities and different outlets to make sure we can get to as many experiences for that collegiate dynamic. But they're even talking about changing the format. So you know, we really got to be on point and, and leave here campus-wise for Christmas break prepped and ready to go with what they're going to do for the changes with COVID in the, in the spring.